Hi there, in this video I am going to share the most easiest way to create the tags. Here we need to have our information in the excel sheet. From the excel sheet we can create our labels using an app called Microsoft Access. So here we need to have an idea about the dimension of A4 sheet. It is 21 into 29.7 cm. And also we should have an idea about the dimensions of the label and how well they will fit inside the A4 sheet. And with this, we need to have what we need to have in our labels. So here I am considering the season, the crop, and the entry name, and the genotype name. With this, let us see how to prepare the labels. So let me open the Excel sheet where all our information has been stored. I think the Excel sheet has been already opened in the task pane. Let me open it. So this is our Excel sheet. So here we can see all the information. In the first column I have kept the entry name and the second column genotypes and the season and crops won't change. So let us save this excel sheet before we will import into the MS axis. So let us close it by saving. So let me open the app. The app which is used here is MS axis. So after opening the app we need to click on blank database. So after selecting the blank database, we need to click on here, the table. After right clicking, we need to go to import and select Excel. So by default, the first option will be selected. From here, we can't link our MS Excel table. So there won't be any changes. So if we link our table, the changes what we made in our Excel sheet will also be repeated in the MS axis. So let us browse the data set. It is stored in the desktop in the tags. Click on open, then click on OK. Then we need to select here in order to make the first rows as the headings. Then we need to click on next. So here we need to change the name of the database. I will select to P, then I will click on finish. So here we can see our Excel sheet has been successfully linked to the P database. Click on OK. Then from the P database, find the create tab, then click on labels. So here we will find so many templates in centimeters. If you need the templates in inches, click on English, but I will select metrics only. These won't give much freedom in terms of dimensions. So we need to customize our labels. So click on customize, then new. From here, change the name of your choice. Then from here, we can change the units and also type of sheet fed. And most important thing we need to consider is the number of columns which has to be printed across a sheet. So I will select it to 2. Then the border of a sheet. I will select 1 cm border for all the sides. Then 3 cm for the height of the tag. Then for length I will select 8 cm. Between the borders and text I will select 0.5 cm for all the sides. And same for between the rows I will select 0.5 cm. In between columns, I will select 1 cm because we need to adjust the gap for cutting the tags. If we won't give enough space for the borders, it will throw an error like this. We should not ignore this error. We need to click on S because it will adjust the size for the borders. Now we, we can see 0.76 has been adjusted automatically. But for safety reason, I will give 1 cm only. So then click on OK. Then there will be new template. So from here we need to click on next then I will keep the area font only and increase the size to 16 then we need to adjust the font I will select heavy we can also italicize or underline the fonts but I won't think it is necessary so click on next then as a rough figure we need to adjust our fields here so I will adjust in this pattern first I will keep season here then after gap I will keep crop then we need our entry numbers so I will take here then the genotypes so click on next then we need to adjust the sorting so i will select the entry number as my primary preference and then the genotypes as secondary preference and ignore others click on next then we need to click on modify design for the first time in order to show you how it looks as a raw prototype i will select the first option only and click on finish so from here we can see our raw labels so i want to change the sheet to a4 so click on here so we will see how our labels look naked so let me tune it in our design so from the reports on labels 
right click then select design view from here we can adjust our fields so in order to reduce the gap between season and crop i will hit backspace here then i want to bring the entry numbers to the middle so go to home select this one for genotypes also same so then let us see how our labels look in print preview so this is how our labels look like i think the p has came so close to the season let me adjust it back so same right click design view give some space between the season and crop let me throw the crop to the border now it seems fine so in order to put the border we need to first ensure that all these fields have a border with a transparent line if not means then there will be a separate lines in each and every fields so after that we need to insert a rectangle so select the rectangle over here then place it over the fields in such a way that there is a perfect overlap but this will not be possible in many a times so at least ensure that the rectangle remains slightly bigger than all the fields combined then we need to adjust the border color of the rectangle to black like this so select the border color on three dots then click on black color then the border will be black then we need to increase the size of the border so click on the border width and select two points then it will look good after that we need to move the rectangle backwards so after this we will find that the right border is not in line so tweak it a little bit so in the print preview we will find how our tags have been baked so i think this is good enough to print so before printing make sure that the number of tags is same as the number of entries what we see in the ms excel because if we have given more number of columns then what can fit in a sheet then there is a chance of missing those tags which have to be there in that column keeping this in mind let us see how to print the tags so from here we can directly print if a printer is already connected or we can take it as a pdf so from here click on ok so wait for some time then this screen will appear so from here we can change the name and directory so let me save it in the desktop only so from the desktop we can see the labels have been ready so friends please do subscribe to my channel in order to support and like the video if it has been really help you a lot